thousands walked together in 2018. This year, Susan Braverman is joining them. Every time I see a face here that's someone I know, I can see the stress in their face. She works for TSA. She's struggling without a paycheck because of the government shutdown. For women especially, a lot of the burden of taking care of our families lies on our shoulders. For me personally, I've got daycare. My job pays for daycare so that I can come in. It sets us back. This year's message is to end violence against women. It's more than just physical and emotional. It's systemic. Tell me a little bit about, you know, how you're feeling ahead of tomorrow. I'm pumped. We're really excited. Scarlett Bustos is organizing this year's march. I hope they feel mighty. I know that's kind of a weird word to use. This year is also under new leadership. It's entirely different. Um, it's entirely different leadership. The original organizers kind of turned over the keys this year, so to speak. And so they gave it to the community. Um, I'm an activist. This is not my paid job. It comes after some women of color say they've been ignored by women's march leaders the past two years. We're in solidarity with the women of color. Well, I am a woman of color and I am an activist. We hope that they join us. She wants people to unite. A new year, a new mission. I really wish that people feel empowered and that they can actually do something. I'm doing this in my spare time, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. Taking a stand and marching for those women who can't join them. We've got women that are staying home to take care of their children because they literally cannot afford a babysitter. And for me, that's heartbreaking. I know that's going to be me in a few weeks. My money's gonna run out. In Sacramento, Anana Rochita, ABC 10 News.